Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. This tips and tricks is to show you how you can change the center of origin of your objects in Showcase. Okay, so here I have a roof of a building and I want to tell you something about the center of origin. So first of all, there's two things to keep in mind. When you are orbiting around, you look at the pivot point, which is the center of origin for the camera that you're looking at. It is possible to change the pivot point by holding Alt and Control and place the pivot point wherever you want in your scene and you'll start orbiting around this new pivot point. Now having that idea in mind is a similar thing for each of the objects. Now I have wind turbine in my scene and you see that they all have different center of origin. Now I'm talking about the center of origin of the object. Now in this scene, I also have a behavior and you will notice that this behavior is basically an animation of, of this wind turbine that is uh, rotating with the wind. Now, if I use this object here, the center of origin is not located at the center of the object. So if I start animating this object with a rotation, what will happen is that the rotation will be done around the center of origin for this particular object. Now you can see that that will not give me the results that I want. Now, in order to have a turbine that is rotating on itself, I will have to change the center of origin for this particular object. So first, select the object that you want to change the center of origin. That could be one object or it could be a series of objects. It doesn't really matter. It could also be a group. So I find it's always easier to do that from a top view because I'll be able to identify the center of that particular object. Now my center of origin is here and if I rotate that object, it's going to rotate around the center of origin, which I don't want. So press insert on your keyboard. Now I'm talking about a PC regular keyboard. I'm not talking about a Mac keyboard. And if you do have a Mac keyboard, I really don't know where that button would be. Press insert on your PC keyboard and that will give you access to change the center of origin. So you can see now I can move the center of origin wherever I want in my scene and I'm going to position it in the center of my object. Now you'll notice that once you press insert, you do have a message at the bottom of the, of the screen that mentions that if you press control and insert, it will toggle in between the center of origin of the object or the center of origin that he was at the, uh, at the beginning before you start moving the pivot point. So there you go. You can toggle in between these two spaces. Also, if you press S, you can snap the center of origin to other object in your scene, such as vertex or grid into your scene. So this is really up to you. So I'm sure you will be using the control insert to move your um, center of origin to the center of your object. To get out of this mode and get back to the toggle object to move, rotate and scale, you press answer again and now you back in track with your move, rotate and a scale tool. You will notice that now it is rotating on, its, on itself. So I will be able to create a keyframe animation for this particular wind turbine and get the result like the other wind turbine or animated in this scene. So this is the results that I would get.